What's going on everyone? This is Gerard with MartoCigars.com and today we are going to talk about Cuban cigars versus non-Cuban cigars. But before we get going, I want you to click on that subscribe button. Also click on the bell to be notified every single week with Mondays with Martos. So one of the many questions that the cigar shop gets from the consumer is, hey bro, you got any Cubans? So what makes Cuban cigars so sought after? We're gonna get right into it. Okay, so one of the reasons why I think Cuban cigars versus non-Cuban cigars are so sought after is because it's the forbidden fruit. We can't have these in the United States, so everybody wants what they cannot have. Basically, you have to know like a secret handshake or password or go through some, you know, secret door to get them. It makes it, you know, something that you cannot have. So we got to have for it and you're going to pay premium for it. Now, here's another kicker. Non-Cuban cigars definitely have authentication. I know what I'm buying. Cuban cigars are counterfeited a very, very high percentage. So uh, to me, first off, I prefer non-Cuban. But let's go to the second reason of why they're still sought after. All right, so the second reason why I think Cuban cigars are sought after is because it's still lingering off its old legacy. And I mean like maybe back from the 60s and 70s. Back then, if you wanted a very good cigar, a premium cigar that's handmade, Cuban cigars were pretty much the only thing on the market. And today, that is not the case. A lot of those families that fled Cuba, took their ceilings and went to Nicaragua, Honduras, Dominican Republic, many other regions, even coastal area of Mexico, which is known as Veracruz, where uh, they grow San Andreas wrappers. A lot of good cigars are coming out of these regions now. I'm holding a Lido Gomez small batch number seven. This is made in Dominican Republic. It is a powerhouse cigar, lots of flavors, full body, complex, and it's non-Cuban. And I would take this any day over many, many Cubans. And why do I say that? Well, I'm gonna to get to that in the third section. All right, another reason, the third reason why uh, we should be talking about Cuban versus non-Cuban, Cuban cigars tend to have some inconsistency these days. Uh, Cohiba brand is not rolled in only one factory in Cuba, so the consistency is not going to be as uniform as a non-Cuban cigar. Non-Cuban cigars for consumers in the United States, uh, we have sales reps. Uh, a lot of these factories have established headquarters within the United States. So we do uh, have the ability and the luxury to call upon these sales reps and discuss about the brand if there's any issues with the role or the inconsistency. So that's a huge thing. And authentication is a huge thing. Um, Cuban cigars are counterfeited at a very, very high percentage where non-Cuban cigars are not. So we're very lucky with that. Um, another thing is that if you're not familiar with Cuban factory box codes, you're really not sure what you're buying. So then you have to log into a website and you have to look at the factory if you don't know everything by heart. It's just a lot of work. And uh, for me, non-Cuban cigars straight out of Nicaragua, this one right here, I think I may have mentioned it already, Lido Gomez small batch number seven, phenomenal cigar. So let me know your uh, opinion in the comments. Let's get interactive. And other than that, my name is Gerard, Mardo Cigars, Mondays with Mardo. Remember, follow us on Instagram, like us on Facebook, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. See you guys.